Now what we're gonna do is actually get into a little bit more of a hip hinge, but it's gonna be single leg. Everybody's gonna be at a different level. What I want it to be is very hip dominant and I don't want you to lose your big toe. So where most people are gonna tell you, get your weight on your heels. I really want all three points of contact, but I want you to be really conscious about really using the glute to work with your big toe. Okay, so here I am starting off here. I'm gonna go ahead and go nice and soft knee right off of the bat. I can present my hip forward so I finish in full hip extension on every rep. We're only gonna do four of them, make them great. As I come down into it, what I want to have happen, belt buckle to the left towards my lead leg, and I wanna go ahead and sink into that rotation as slow as I can. As I'm here, my right pelvis is forward, so that bony prominence would have came closer to the ground, and I'm pulling my left back into the socket, really getting into my left butt cheek. You can even reach if you want. Slowly come out of there, drive through the big toe, and present your hip forward without slamming your knee back. Squeeze your butt all the way, full hip extension, should feel a little baby stretch here. Slowly control the way down, knee bends. Think about lengthening the hamstring if you can. Pull that back pocket back as your right hip comes forward all the way in the bottom. It's okay to rotate your chest to the front leg too. Slowly come all the way up, squeeze your butt through. Your foot should be on fire as well as everything else here. Slowly sink down, get as far into that hip hinge as you can. Knee should stay nice and bent the whole time. Drive all the way through. Squeeze your butt as hard as you can at the top. Slow on the way down. Sink back into it. Slowly come all the way up. Squeeze your butt and hold. 